Hey everyone, this is John DeLynn of Mormon Stories Podcast, and I have a super important announcement to make, and I need your help. Um, this is super exciting, and uh, so check this out. Um, I am looking uh, for people who can help me uh, transform Mormonism and post-Mormonism post -Mormonism in ways uh, that we never thought possible. So it's kind of a new idea. Now, over the past 15 years or so, uh, those of you who follow Mormon Stories podcast will know that we have kind of flooded Mormonism and post-Mormonism with long-form interview-style videos. Um, we absolutely plan to continue these. Don't worry. Uh, we know that uh, that these videos are, are playing an important role. So don't worry. That's not changing. Um, but we feel very, very confident that YouTube is a super important channel in 2020 for delivering valuable content and for reaching people who are in need, particularly uh, people struggling with their faith in Mormonism, uh, Orthodox Mormons who are looking to understand people who are struggling in their faith, people who are leaving the church, people who have left the church, and everyone in between, uh, church leaders who want to do a better job of helping people leave the church, and just building general awareness about the truth of Mormonism. So uh, we feel like, wow, we've got an amazing YouTube channel on Mormon Stories Podcast. We've got over 20,000 subscribers. We are not using YouTube as we should. YouTube was not made for five-hour, 10-hour, 20-hour videos. Uh, YouTube was made uh, for, you know, five to 10-minute videos at the most. Um, and so we realize, I realize, that we need to start using YouTube in a more effective way to reach more people. There's a ton of people that long form interviews are going to reach, but there's a whole ton of millions of people uh, who will never watch a 12 hour interview, but would watch a 10 minute uh, video. So imagine if we could create a library of, let's say, 500 or 1,000 video shorts about Mormonism, progressive Mormonism, post Mormonism, et cetera, um, that help explain, discuss, and even change and transform both Mormonism and post Mormonism on YouTube. The topics can come from Mormon history, Mormon culture, tips and tricks for those in faith crisis, modern day activism around social justice issues, current events within the LDS church. The, the opportunities for topics are sort of endless. Um, so an example of some of the video shorts that we could create might include an overview of Joseph Smith's treasure digging, an overview of Joseph Smith's polygamy, polyandry. What is polyandry? How did Joseph Smith practice polyandry? Why is the book of Why is the Book of Abraham not a translation? Um, anachronisms in the Book of Mormon. How Mormon apologists hurt Mormons and post Mormons. Um, an overview of the LDS Church's 120 billion dollar investment fund at Ensign Peak. How the LDS Church hurts LGBTQ people or trans people. How the LDS Church's policies around pornography and masturbation hurt people. Um, how uh, an overview of racism uh, amongst LDS church leadership, how the LDS church harms mixed orientation marriages, and how the LDS church destroys families when there's a faith crisis. Um, is the LDS church a cult? Just imagine the hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of topics that we can create together. It's kind of endless. So here's the ask. Here's what I'm looking for. Um, I am looking for a handful of volunteers you, people like you, who can produce and write and gather content for YouTube video shorts. So here's what I'm asking for those of you who want to help out. Number one, pick a topic that you care about. Um, pick a title, write down, create a Google Doc, okay? Write down a title for the topic you care about. Write down a description of what the video is going to entail. So a topic, a, a title and a description, topic, title, and description. Then, um, locate content for the video. There has to be visual content. So images that you think could be cool, uh, clips from past Mormon Stories podcast episodes, clips from General Authority Talks at General Conference, other types of audio or video clips, whatever multimedia you think could be useful um, to put into a video short. Um, put all that into a file. Um, and then write an outline or a script. Now, remember, these videos need to be no more than 10 minutes long. Um, that's just the, 
sweet spot that makes YouTube videos highly consumable, shareable, etc. So create an outline, even write out a script. It'd be super useful if you would actually read the script out loud and time it and make sure that what you write isn't more um, than 10 minutes. Um, it would be super cool if you could put all of the uh, video clips and audio clips into a PowerPoint slide deck so that it can be, that would just be easier for us to consume because it's really easy for us to show PowerPoint presentations. And that's a great way for us to be able to illustrate and have visuals for this content. Um, so putting together a PowerPoint presentation that integrates your content and uh, visuals would be great. Um, and then email me all this stuff in a shared folder, Dropbox folder, Google Drive folder, two Mormon stories at gmail.com. Um, I will evaluate, I'll put together a little team of people to evaluate the submissions. And if I slash we feel like your video is a good fit, I will do my best to make your uh, video production happen and release it on YouTube. And you will be able to play a role in transforming Mormonism. We will give you full credit at the end of the video as a producer writer um, of the video. And uh, that's it. That's the idea. Please be patient with me slash us. It will take time for us to put a process together. It will take time for us to respond to you. It may even take months. So don't get mad. If you do all this work, submit it. And then it takes us months to get back with you. We will use your stuff. We definitely won't plagiarize any of your stuff without giving you credit. Anyway, this is the idea. Please spread the word. Please share it with anyone that you think might be interested. Uh, please uh, comment on any of these posts that we're doing on social media. Email me at mormonstories at gmail.com. Um, let's talk. I'll get back with you as I can. This is a huge initiative. It's going to take us years to pull off. I'm kicking it off today. Um, please help uh, if you're interested. Reach out. And now I'm going to uh, check out your comments and just answer a few questions really quickly. Corey says, love this. Uh, Leston writes, does anyone know approximately how many words in a 10 minute presentation? I don't know, um, Leston, uh, but you guys can find out and we'll update, uh, the description on the Mormon stories podcast uh, page to let people know how many pages I'm going to say, start with two or three pages, double spaced and go from there. Um, Gordon says, uh, I'm guessing that you only want anti-Mormon material. No, you're wrong, Gordon. I want uh, any content that's going to improve uh, the Mormon experience for Mormons, true believing Mormons, progressive Mormons, and post-Mormons. I want it to be true. I want it to be useful. I want it to be helpful, non-redundant to things the church already puts out. Um, but we're not looking for anti-Mormon stuff. Honestly, I don't know if you're just trying to take a dig. Um, less than, but most people who love the church find the term anti-Mormon offensive. So, um, you know, just as a tip, we're not looking to tear the church down with these videos. We're not even looking to take people out of the church. My mission, the mission of Mormon stories for the people that follow me is very simple. All we want is everyone to be aware of the truth about Mormon history, Mormon culture, etc. We want the Mormon church to hurt less people. Uh, to be less racist, to be less sexist, to be less homophobic, to be more supportive of people who need to become less orthodox and or leave the church. That's our uh, bias and our motive. But we don't care a fig if people stay in the church because they love it and want to stay in it. We don't want people to be gaslit or pressured into staying in the church if they feel like it would be healthier for them to leave. But no, we're not anti-Mormon. No, we're not trying to tear the church down. Um, we're trying to do Good things. Gerald, yes, I'm live right now. Um, let's see. Other questions. Karis, I, I, I hope I'm getting your name, pronouncing it right, Karis. You've told me several times how to pronounce it. Yes, the, the video quality is looking amazing. Shout out to my dear friend, Gerardo, for making this possible. Um, that is what we're doing. Um, uh, Lori says, what about many, many Mormon stories with people sharing their story in a bite-sized piece? Like I'm a Mormon. Love that idea, Lori. If you guys want to put together a five or 10 minute sort of like, here's my story of, uh, why I left the church or how I became a progressive Mormon or how I lost my faith or how my faith is nuanced or how I'm gay and how the church hurt me or how I'm gay and how the church helped me, whatever it is. 
Um, yeah, uh, I think individual narratives would be an amazing thing. Um, let's see. I am an ex Mormon writes. This definitely needs to happen for Mormon stories. Short excerpts. Also, yes, tear down the church. Uh, I'm not here to tear down the church, but everyone's going to have their own opinion. Um, Chris writes, post-Mormonism is tough. I've seen friends, family leave, and they go a bit off the deep end and seem to struggle with self-governance without the superstition keeping them on track. Yes, Chris. So that topic of how to leave the church and not wreck your life, 10 tips on how to not wreck your life after leaving the church, a perfect example of uh, a Mormon stories short that would be super useful to people. Um, DJ writes, are you interested in a video from a former Catholic, but see similarities? Yes. DJ, how Mormonism and Catholicism are similar or how leaving Catholicism is similar to leaving Mormonism. As long as it's great content, we're interested. Uh, Ben says, post this on ex-Mormon Reddit and get the moderators to pin it. Ben, I'm going to ask you to do that because they don't like it when I promote my own stuff. So if any of you, uh, are interested, actually, uh, they don't like to be brigaded either. So if someone feels motivated to find a way to post this on ex-Mormon Reddit, that's up to you. I'm not encouraging you to brigade them. I am aware that the mods are going to be mad if 10,000 people or 100 people all go up and start telling them to do stuff. So be careful, be sensitive. But yeah, if you guys want to help me share this word, not just on ex-Mormon Reddit, share this on your Facebook page, share this Twitter, share this Instagram, share this everywhere. Please share this everywhere you can. That would be amazing. Um, Jen writes, I just want to lessen the pain. Somehow we have to make it less threatening. Jen, write a YouTube short on all the pain that, that people experience when they leave the church. That would be amazing. Aspen writes, it would be so cool if Zelf on the Shelf, Jimmy Snow, or other post-Mormon YouTubers could collaborate. Absolutely. We love Zelf on the Shelf. We love uh, Jimmy Snow. We love, um, we freaking love thoughts on things and stuff. And Jonathan Streeter. Uh, there are so many cool content providers out there, and we would love to partner with all of them. Um, Melissa writes, it would be good, it would be great to have a video on how to handle family and friends when they can't see, nor do they want to see the truth, and then try to belittle you. Yes, um, how to handle un, you know, helpful family and friends when you lose your faith in Mormonism. That's a great topic for an episode, Melissa. Jason writes, thank you so much, John. Truth matters, and it's sad when people have to leave church over actual truths that the church should have taught from the very beginning. Um, Sean Coombs, we love you. Uh, you wrote I'm. I'm sure you hit carriage return too soon. I can't wait to see what you write. Uh, DJ, thanks for sharing. Um, Amy writes, how about short personal ex stories about our own experience? Amy, yes. 10-minute shorts on like an experience you had at church where you narrate your own story and there are visual images. Uh, that's a brilliant idea. That would be amazing. Um, uh, a, a loft from Denmark writes, uh, you have so many stories. Um, how about, uh, no longer believing in Mormonism, but still loving some aspects and having some good experiences. A loft. Yes. A, a video short on, I left the church, but what I still love about Mormonism. That's a great idea. Dustin writes, Jonathan Streeter is my hero. This beautiful setup that you're seeing now would not have even happened without Jonathan Streeter. He made this possible. So yes, I love him too. Uh, Sean Coombs writes, I'm so excited about this. Sean Coombs, we love you. We adore you and your husband and your family. Um, uh, yes, Mike writes, any sort of tone. Yes, we want the tone to be not off-putting, not angry, to be wise, to be thoughtful, to be emotional, but not uh, excessive. We want this to be compelling and credible. So not angry, not vicious, respectful, but direct and candid and emotional. Uh, that's a great question, Mike. Um, Jen Smith writes a topic, how to accept people who don't accept you. Great. Um, make sure that when you email me, um, make sure I'm going to write this down as I type it, make sure the heading says YouTube short. Uh, that way I can filter all these messages into a folder. So make sure when you email me that the heading says YouTube short, that would be super helpful. Cause I'm going to need to edit this. Uh, and by the way, I may need people to help me edit these. So if any of you 
are really good at video editing, multimedia editing, etc., or working with PowerPoint presentations, images, audio, uh, I might be able to use you. Blake Oki says the path for Mormonism to atheism. Great topic. Uh, atheism isn't the only uh, outcome for progressive post-Mormons, but it's a common one. Uh, Leticia Taylor writes, you've got lots of goodies from Mormon stories, and especially in the last podcast with Dr. Rittner, plenty of Kodak moments about the theology. Yeah, I would love to have this, the YouTube channel shorts, promote the Mormon stories podcast long form and vice versa. Um, um, yeah, what is gaslighting and how does it apply to Mormonism? That's a great uh, idea, Tat. Um, uh, Michael writes, I edit video for work all the time and would be willing to volunteer to help put clips together. If you want to help out maybe as a producer or a assistant producer to help me do vet this content, to filter it, to um, edit it, etc., please reach out, maybe put in the title, um, you know, YouTube shorts dash volunteer or something like that. Um, anyway, I have to run. I am stunned that we have 275 people live uh, tuning into this. I don't want to end, but I have to, because I have to meet someone for lunch. Um, but uh, thank you for tuning in. Please email me. Please spread the word. Um, please post any questions you have. I think this is going to transform Mormonism and post-Mormonism. And I think this is the next best thing. Uh, also, if you like this idea and you want to donate to support it, I would love to hire a half-time person or a full-time person to do that. So you can go to mormonstories.org, click on the donate button. I promise 100% of your donations won't go to me. They'll go to hiring new staff or paying people to help with the production of this. Uh, right now, the Mormon Stories podcast covers my salary, my benefits, uh, the rent, all the technical stuff that you see, the equipment. But we don't have ongoing funds to pay for this new initiative. So if any of you want to donate, you can donate at mormonstories.org. Click on the donate button, one-time donation, monthly donations. You know, I imagine that if we could raise even $25,000 over the next year, $50,000, we could fund a full-time person to make this possible because clearly I can't do this alone. Anyway, this is my idea. Love you guys. Love you, Jen Smith. Love you, Cecilia, Kyle Wonderly. All the wonderful people that are connected, stay tuned. Hope you like this new um, video and uh, sound and lighting setup. Again, Gerardo made this possible. Couldn't do this without you, Gerardo. And uh, you guys take care, stay tuned, and please spread the word. Love you guys. Mwah.